when we choose how to communicate based on our perceived reactions of other people, we never really figure out how to find our voice. If our decisions are always based on how other people are going to react to them and that shades our decision making, we've sold ourselves short. Yeah. So, so we have to, so basically what we're saying, one aspect of communication is be willing to tolerate negative reactions. Mm -hmm. Like, or you have to build up a capacity to tolerate those negative reactions. So you have to, you know, to, to communicate effectively, to be able to communicate with the possibility that you're going to not get the reactions that you want or that are very, you know, fun for you. And so Mm -hmm. we're going to help you learn how to do that, but that's going to be a necessary step. It's not the emotion we want to get rid of. It's the way that the emotion makes our body feel. The uncomfortable sensations. But mm-hmm. there's also this belief that when we when we are knee deep in the negative emotion, the, the physiological discomfort that comes from feeling sad or mm-hmm. angry or whatever, it's that it's going to last forever. That right. it's that it's um, like never going to go away. And so you go into terrible crisis. Your group that you're talking about and their Mm -hmm. success in communication doesn't happen without discomfort. Right. Like it doesn't happen without negative emotions. It doesn't happen Mm -hmm. without me being like, you know, I don't like the fact that that person said that, Yeah. you know, or that that person's doing this or they're not coming Mm -hmm. to me about something or, or whatever. Where I told all of them, I said, this is an extremely uncomfortable conversation. Yeah. This is very uncomfortable. This is not a normal thing. But you are going to say things today that should upset somebody else. But that's okay because we are all going to make a decision right now that no matter what anybody else has to say, this meeting, this conversation is about getting all of our stuff out on the table so that we as a group of people can put together a plan to get to a better place because you all have independently come to me and told me that this is not a place that you want to remain. Right. I can't put together a plan for you. If you are not involved in the solution, it's probably not going to work. If you are interacting with someone that you do not feel safe to clearly and directly communicate with, that's a huge barrier to overcome. And so to have their boss be the mediator and say, I don't care if what you say hurts my feelings, hurts the person to your left or your right's feelings, this is a safe space. We have got to build a positive relational history where we can talk about uncomfortable things and come out on the other side and still be a team together. We have to start building that to have their boss say that it was okay to do that mm-hmm. was, was nice because they knew there wasn't going to be retribution, but there isn't that safety in every one of these situations that people find themselves in where they need to say uncomfortable things to people. <laughs>